Here we go. <clears throat> a lot of people might not know, but he proposed <laughs> to you while he was in jail. I talk about this in the book when I go to see him in Rikers, when I wrote about that in the book and when I had to um, talk about it, uh, speak my words for the audible version of the book. That was probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. <clears throat> and um, he was in, he was, he was in, he was, he was, he was in bad shape. And so when he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. And I knew at that time that A, he needed somebody to do time with him, mm. which I was gonna do anyway. He didn't have to marry me to do time with him, right? I'm, I'm here. I see why we love you. <laughs> and then to, um, but he needed a rock. <laughs> I promise you, he would have married me and divorced me as soon as he said his last job. He would have. All right. I'll be real with it. Right. Because so many people in that position don't have support. Right. None at all. None. You know? He and, got the best. Uh, right. He was just like, look. And I just think it was the mind state that he was in. You know? He, he wrote me this long letter. And um, I think even before Pac went to jail, he was starting to trend. He was starting to shift in a certain manner. Good or bad? Good. Really good. Um, and I think that for him, he just felt like, okay, if I can tether myself, it'll keep me on a trajectory. A lot of people. 2016, you and Will. Before I go here, I know people were like, Jada making people, uh, making Will look bad, but I got a different perspective on this. So let me, let's go into 2016, this. you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So uh, how long have you guys been together? <laughs> uh, 23 years. Wow. wow. That's amazing. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. I mean, over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm. Still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people? Now, for, to me, right? When this all first like kicked off, what, last year? Um, I never, I just was like, oh, I, don't, I don't really think they give a damn about what people are saying, right? That's what I kept saying. Like, I don't think they really care about what people say about their marriage and yada, 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 right? But as she keeps coming out on and on, and it's like, okay, give it a break. In the, uh, the comments, he wanted a conjugal visit. Remember, she said sex can fix everything. She said Pac wasn't fucking with her. I think his brother said that too. Like, Pac wasn't fucking with Jada like that. And I believe it. Like, I don't think he, he had mad bitches on the line. 
he had Jasmine Guy and Madonna coming up to the jail. Like, she wasn't the only one. And that's why I said I think she, like, who was she trying to compete with to seem like, no, Pac loved me the most. It's like, because when you seen that uh, documentary that just came out on Hulu, that Dear Mama documentary, Pac, I mean, Jada was cool. But Jasmine Guy was the one who made it into that documentary. And it's like, well, why? I'm. Did they not want to interview Jada? Did she not want to be on in there? Like, what happened? You know what I mean? Because the way that one was, like, framed, Jasmine Guy was the lady. Like, he fucked with her. After he got shot, he went and was um chilling in her house for two weeks and all that. Like, okay, Jada, where you at, baby? Pop got shot, where you at? You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> this prison do something to a nigga. <laughs> now, when it comes to, I always was saying like, man, Jada and Will don't give a fuck about that. They, you know what I mean? They got paper. They don't care about none of that. They don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. So, that's where I was at. Then everybody just kept saying, like, nah, she making him look bad. She fucking up his legacy and yada, 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 you know. Then, um, and I never watched the Red Table talk, right? So, but I just seen this when this popped up. You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was curve. done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run that back one more time. One more time. Where is it at? You and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was cur done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Mm -hmm. See? Now, when I seen that, I said, oh, it makes sense. Will wasn't fucking with Jake. Will does, I want y'all to understand. Will don't give a fuck about Jada. He don't give a fuck who she sleep with, what she say, where she at, who she doing it with. That wife, husband shit, clearly they just don't want to bust that bread up. And that makes sense. It looked like, when he said I was done with your ass, on top of all the rumors that were out there, and I'm not talking about the whole, uh, gay rumors i'm talking about all the rumors where he was having little young bitches with him i'm talking about because he was having some youtube girls around him you know what i'm saying some girls that's popping on youtube and everything will look professional on the surface but the rumors came out that he was fucking with some of them right so when with those rumors and him saying like i was done with your ass man they clearly just ain't want to just disrupt the bread that was it. Like, uh, and I don't care what you do. Like, go do what you doing. Like, somebody just said, we'll just leave. Man, leave for what? So she can get the bread? Or we can just stay. You stay where you at. You can keep the house. You know, the bills and shit going to be paid. We ain't got to ruin the family. We ain't got to have no awkward holidays. The families can still link up and come together. Like, we don't hate each other. It sounded like he was just still looking out for Jada. Now, I don't know what her issue is now and where she want to just, like, act like she can bring Pac back from the dead. I don't know what all that's about, but, like, but maybe that's just a part of her selling the book. And it's like, oh, okay. I mean, I, I guess I can get it. I guess I can get it. But this is this was the other one that took me out. Like, yeah, Jada was doing too much. You're doing too much, bitch. Chill. Could become one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, squeaky clean image. Women love you around the world, and this is what's going on in your house. Your wife is in love with a dead man. Dear, dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. 
I think my mommy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, you had this little girl writing letters. <laughs> talking about, I know you alive. <laughs> Could become one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Squeaky clean image. Women love you around the world. And this is what's going on in your house. Your wife is in love with a dead man. Did, did Tupac. I know you are alive someplace. I think my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so me and my mommy can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Tupac got killed in what, 95, 96? Willow never met Tupac. Why is this little girl writing a letter to Tupac? Why is Will Smith's daughter writing a letter to Tupac? What is being said in that house to get this little girl not writing Santa Claus, not writing the Easter Bunny, writing Tupac? That's right, though. Like, that's some weird shit, man. What? Who? Huh? Well, she, at the time, I don't know how old she was when she wrote it, but did she not understand the concept of dead of dead i mean the little girl seemed like she was uh pretty much grown by 11 and 12 how y'all had them out here but like i wish she would come back to make my mom <laughs> bitch <what? laughs> all right i see the comment michael jordan gave his ex a bread he gave his ex the bread because he know he can get it right back. You're that's two different things. You're talking about two different things. How is how is Will going to get back? Let's say if he's worth four hundred million, how is he just going to get back two and three hundred million dollars? How is Will Smith going to do that this in at this late age? Michael Jordan Ben divorced his wife like damn near twenty years ago, and he retroed every shoe a thousand times since then. Of course, he got his money back. Tell me how Will Smith will do that. Cause I don't I don't think it's a peace thing. I, and then and then what peace? If I don't fuck with you, but you live in the house that we got together, what what peace? I have my peace. What is she gonna do that she couldn't do once they divorce? She already talking the shit that she gotta talk. What peace? And I just think she doing this on some like spiteful shit because He's like he said, like, I was done with your ass. <laughs> and then, you know, word got back around and the bitch was just like, damn, he moved on. <laughs> like, damn, he really, damn, he was really fucking with me. He moved on. You know, because I don't give a fuck who she is. Bitch can be salty. You know what I'm saying? You see your nigga bounce on your ass because you thought you was just that cold with it. And then I think she just coming back to be spiteful. You know what I mean? Like, damn it. Damn you, Will. I'm going to show you. You know, but I just think she... Come on, man. We get it, okay? You selling the book, but we we we, we kind of off this pock shit. And like somebody was saying with the whole Keefe D, I don't even give a damn about none of that. Like, trust me. Like I said before, Tupac is my favorite. He's one of my favorites because, you know, Jay got it. But Tupac is one of my favorites. Come on, man, with this extra shit. You know, like, come on. You don't have to be doing all this jada and then you know what i'm saying like as you as the clips was coming out over the year like man this nigga was really fucking with you and i guess they say find somebody who like you not the person you like of of soulmate yeah. um but yeah um you know definitely i i don't think if there is such a thing as past lives mm -hmm. Definitely think Pac and I have traveled a few together, <laughs> you know, in various forms. So did you ever, has there ever been a time that you regretted the decision that you made not to take it to that level with him and to keep it in the friendship space? It just wasn't possible. There was no chemistry between us. <laughs> you know, I talk about it in the book. You know? So hard. I know, but that's just so hard to imagine. Because the time... He was in a bad, you know, he was in a space where, you know, he was in jail and all that, but it's he asked to marry you if he wasn't, if there was no chemistry and he got all these other women that like him, 
famous and non-famous, and I'm not talking about just fans. I'm talking about women he actually knew that was coming to see him in jail. Why he pick you to say, oh, can you, can we get married? Dude, that don't even make sense. That don't make sense. <laughs> that don't make sense. Why? Like, okay, we get it. You're trying to sell books, but that don't make sense. <laughs> hey, man, hit that PayPal, hit that cash app. Hey, if you want to buy the game, because I did see you came through, uh, Brian. Uh, I seen you just came through the email, and I seen you copped your game. I appreciate it. You will not regret it. Like I said, everybody has. I'm telling you, everybody who got the game always tell me. They always tell me that um, it's the it's the, it's a jam. It's legit. <laughs> like that shit is legit. I've been trying to play that shit a lot. Like <laughs> that shit is fucking legit. Cause it'd be like. Shit, it's a, it's a test of yourself. Like, damn, how much of this shit do I fucking remember? Like, you know what I'm saying? And me being a nigga who knows a whole bunch of random shit. Like, that shit right up my motherfucking alley. Like, yeah, nah, that shit, you got one with that motherfucker. That shit's legit. Nah, them fucking questions is legit as fuck. There ain't no, ain't no white person making that shit up. <laughs> like, you had to have been a nigga and you had to have fucking been there type shit. Like, ain't no white person making that shit up. And that's why I think the game is so fucking fun. Like... That shit fun as hell. Like, I don't even think we be playing it right. Because we just kind of pick the cards. And if you get it right, you get to keep the card. But we use the timer and shit. Like, but that shit fun as hell. Like, that shit fun. fun. Hey, yo, Showboat. Where you at? You get your game yet, Showboat? You get your game yet, showboat? Come on, come through. Now, emasculation ain't worth staying in a perceived marriage. I hear you. I hear you, but you... You ain't got to bust down millions of dollars with a bitch. So it's easy to type, type. It's easy to type some shit. It's easy. And now, you know what I'm saying, Jay, I don't know if you even have children, a wife, or nothing. It's easy to just say that, man. When you see millions of dollars just go away, nah, I'm sorry, bruh. We could probably, we can we can do our thing. You go do your thing, I go do my thing, and we can still keep this family shit rolling. I don't give a fuck. See, all that peace shit that, you know, the average motherfucker be on, that's because you got a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about just you, Jay. Because when you got a little bit of money and you can't maneuver around the world like you want to, you can't just get up and go. You you got to go deal with that raggedy-ass job tomorrow. You got to go. You got to deal with raggedy-ass family and yada, yada, yada. And da, 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 you know what I'm saying? And you can't just be like, all right, well, shit, right after this, we about to go get on the jet and we about to go over to... Um, you know, um, Turks and Caicos for a week, and we just gonna be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really worried about what this bitch talking about. See, when well, you can't do that, you know, your peace means so much more. I'm not saying that it don't mean nothing to, to Will and them. I'm not saying that it don't. But what I'm saying is they can escape to peace a lot faster than, you know, a you or me. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't think it's all that. 